What's going on everybody? It's me redoing a video that I was I had to remove because apparently um, my voice was low volume wise. Apparently it was a statement issued by six different Democratic mayors in the state of Minnesota located in the area known as the Iron Range. I guess it's a um, well-respected uh, working-class area, from what I understand. And they were endorsing Donald Trump for the next four years in the White House because of the way the Democratic Party has been acting and what they've been doing for the past few years. And you know what? I don't blame them one bit. Now this is a statement issued on August 28, 2020 and it reads as follows, fellow Americans, as greater Minnesota mayors from democratic cities on the Iron Range of Minnesota, we write today to formally endorse the re-election of President Donald J. Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. Like many in our region, we have voted for Democrats over many decades. We have watched as our constituents' jobs left not only the Iron Range, but our country. By putting tariffs on our products and supporting bad trade deals, Politicians like Joe Biden did nothing to help the working class. We lost thousands of jobs and generations of young people have left the Iron Range in order to provide for their families with good paying jobs elsewhere. I'm one of those people. Remember I had to leave Michigan for Texas. Today we don't recognize the Democratic Party. It has moved so far to the left, it can no longer claim to be advocates of the working class. No, they rather uh, give um, their time and energy to those who don't want to work, who want to live on food stamps, to all these immigrants coming in, illegal immigrants, I should say. The hardworking Minnesotans that built their lives and supported their families here on the range have been abandoned by radical Democrats. We didn't choose to lead the Democratic Party. The party left us. They left us a long time ago, as a matter of fact, with their statements, their agendas, and most of all, their actions. Hmm. Yet four years ago, something wonderful happened. Donald J. Trump was elected President of the United States and he stood up to China, implemented tax cuts, and fought for the working class. Now, four years later, the Iron Range is roaring back to life, which is good. The whole country has been as well. For the, and for the first time in a long time, locals are hopeful because of this president's policies and willingness to fight for us. Lifelong politicians like Joe Biden, Mr. Duh, himself, are out of touch with the working class, out of touch with what the country needs, and out of touch with those of us here on the Iron Range in a small towns like ours across our nation. Most of these Democrats have been on a range for the past couple of years. The only thing they've been concerned about is get Trump out of the office, get Trump out of the office, provide welfare insurance for all these illegals, which they've been doing for the past how many years. But people like myself who really need insurance get turned down because I'm not old enough because I don't fit their criteria. Here's my criteria, you sons of bitches. In this election, there is a lot at stake. But the biggest risk is our jobs, our economy, and our way of life. 
President Trump delivered the best economy in our nation's history, which is true. And President Trump will deliver for us again. He will continue to fight for every American, regardless of party affiliation, and continue to stand up for the working class. Today, we write to formally endorse President Donald J. Trump and Vice President Mike Pence for four more years. Wow. This shows you how idiotic and uh, stupid the Democrats have become for the past couple of years. When you have your own supporters turn their backs on you to go for the other party. Which I do not blame them one bit. Remember the eight years of Obama and most of America was on living on unemployment and on food stamps. I was one of them back in Michigan. It was hard to find work anywhere. And all these liberals out there, they're all busy complaining about, oh, Trump is racist. Trump is uh, wants to keep us down under his thumb. We cannot be ourselves, which is bullshit. Never said you could not be yourself. Just don't flaunt in front of everybody else like Bullfrog does. And, be, and believe me, Bullfrog, as I stated before, you do do that on the regular. Now the statement ends with the uh, names and the signatures of the four people endorsing this, along with the mayors of this, excuse me, along with the cities that they are mayors of, like Babbitt, Eveleth, Two Harbors, Virginia, Grisholm, and Eli. So, um, I wanted to get that out of the way now. I'm going to also leave the, the rest of you people uh, watching this video. I know there was a few out there, and um, for those, I'm sorry I had to remove the last video about this subject, but Hopefully, um, I could get my OBS working. Um, not really, oh, it already works, but the thing is, I have, to, I have to see what the hell is wrong with it, why I wasn't able to pick up my voice like it did when I was recording the first video. Either way, leave your comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel, folks. Believe me, you will not be disappointed. All right? I'm Dr. Earl. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.